Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Xanafive20 and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last episode, we finished off the Forbidden Woods. We rescued Makar and got to witness the ceremony that the Koroks put on every year to begin spreading more forests across the ocean. We also received Furore's Pearl. And we have been instructed that we now need to go northwest. in order to reach our next destination. Am I going the right way? I am. Okay, we need to go that way. We technically have free reign of the seas right now. However, we should probably get the last pearl before we go on any kind of crazy adventure. So, we're going to head off this direction. I never got the... Um, Hmm. I never got the fish man information from Forest Haven. There is a wind blowing in my room. How quaint. How appropriate. Anyway. We can come over here and get this fish man. Which island is this? Is this the cabana? I think this is the cabana. Well, we need to grab our bait bag here. Throw some fish bait. Whoop. Yep. We want our information, sir. Private Oasis. So, tell me, small fry, have you heard of the golden set of triumph forks? It's right there, I tell you. The article genuine. In that house. If you want it, you'd better go in there and scour the place from floor to ceiling. And that's all the info I've got to offer. So there's something called the Triumph Forks inside this house. How interesting. However, there's no way to get inside currently. Because uh, we don't own that house. Go figure. So we're headed off in this direction. I don't want to go near that. Okay, so... If you ever see seagulls flying in a circle like that, there is a boss there. And I don't want to mess with that boss right now, thank you very much. We'll come back to that later, once we have the chart for that. I should probably make a map that I can um, fill with so I can mark down what I've gotten and what I haven't. Those out there, those are C hats. They're like P hats, but bigger. Much, much bigger. And they look like fish. Look at the size of these things. They're huge. And they're really evil. This is another one of the Triangle Islands. Where's the fish man? Fish man? Oh, you're over there. Go a side wind on this one. There's Beetle. Whoa! No, you don't. Oh, gosh. I am about to get my butt kicked by that thing. Your propeller isn't even attached. Southern Triangle Island. A famed photographer, pictographer, lives far to the north of here on Windfall Island. He's apparently real wise and talented in the ways of pictography. 
He's even said to have legendary pictographs that he treasures above all other things. He keeps them hidden away in a secret safe, or so they say. By the way, small fry, what exactly is a pictograph anyway? And we're off. Before I get absolutely destroyed. I did get hit. Um, so, they've actually changed something about uh, the, the damage system in this game. When you were on your boat in... Um, the original GameCube game. Excuse me while I yawn. In the original GameCube game, if you got hit while you were on your boat, you would immediately get knocked in the water. They decided that this was too harsh a punishment and uh, removed it. I think the only thing that knocks you out of your boat now is explosions. So, yeah. Much needed change, methinks. Is that the island we're headed to next? Every square of the map has a island on it. So you won't be going into squares without islands. Yeah, it looks like we're going here. There is a cannon boat over there. There's three of them, actually. Uh, where is Fishman? I don't see him. I do, however, see Old Man Ho-Ho. That's that guy. I don't see Fishman here, so we'll probably come back to this later, once we have a way of dealing with those idiots. Anyway, our destination is that island. here. There's a fish man over there. But we're not going over there because that place is dangerous. Oh dear. There's a big storm cloud above the island. There's a reason for that. Look, Link. Do you see it? What has happened to this place? Great Fish Isle. What is the meaning of this? The island, it is... We are too late. I knew we had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jaboon once lived here, but no sign of him remains. Ho oh, there, Link! Oh, it's Quill. So you're here. I've been looking for you. Are you by chance seeking the great spirit Jaboon? I'm sorry to report to you that Jaboon can no longer be found here. Just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this too is the work of the Shadow in the Forsaken Fortress. But fear not, Jaboon was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He is in a safe abode, safer abode now. Would you like to guess where that abode may be? On the island where you were born. On Outset. Yet even if you were to go to Outset now, you would not be able to see Jaboon. The cave where he hides is sealed with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why, not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in. I must apologize, Link. I thought if anyone would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much as a thought for the consequences. I do not know what they hoped to get, but they immediately set sail for Outset Island and tried to break into the cave. It is lucky they could not gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what, I do not know. 
If you wish to see Jaboon, I think you'd better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. What an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else but clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Baloo must have been right when he asked me to bring word of Jaboon to you. He called this island cursed. I would con I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to. But that is your decision. I have told you of Jaboon, so my task is complete. Well, there is one thing we can get here on this destroyed island. Let's see here. I think we have to go out there first. So, Jaboon has survived. The sea spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If we are to believe the words of the Rito Postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jaboon hides. Why don't we go f first to Windfall and search for them there? First things first, though, we want to get uh, an item from this island. And I think we have to come out here to this spot first. So, it is suggested that there was meant to be a dungeon here. But, time constraints. The GameCube is full of these stories where there was supposed to be so much more to a game. But, oh, and keep this in mind. But, due to time constraints imposed by Nintendo's upper management, uh, the game was not completed in the way it was originally meant to be. Anyway, if we come over here, we can actually open this chest, and I believe this is a heart piece. It is indeed! Wait, we already had three heart pieces? Huh. Well, Alright then. Anyway. There was meant to be more dungeons in this game than there currently are. But due to time constraints given by upper management at Nintendo wanting to get the games out, uh, a similar game that also suffered from this was, in fact, Super Mario Sunshine. Many people know that story. But, uh, the dungeon was cut, and instead we have this thing. In fact, the whole... There, there's a whole section of the game later that, um... was or not originally part of the game, and it was actually added in because of these stupid time constraints. And it was actually trimmed down further, um... for the re-release here. So, we're currently in a state of the game called the Cursed Great Sea. So long as we are in this state, the, um, the sea will always be storming, and it will always be night. And this is signified by the negative-sounding overworld theme. Anyway, Great Fish Isle. You should come around these parts when on nights where the just a wee bit of the left half of the moon is missing. That's when it appears, Fry. We'll see what he's also talking about the um the ghost ship. Now, when we're coming up towards Windfall Island, we want to be careful around here because there is a hazard on the sea. And unfortunately, we have no way of dealing with that hazard currently. In fact, we have to wait until the next dungeon in order to actually access it. Or deal with it, I should say. Now, we'll probably see it 
but we won't be able to do anything about it. We're also going to get the... Uh, the, uh, the fish here. This is actually Tingle Island. You want to watch out for those guys. Those are Georgs. Yes, they're named after the boss of Majora's Mask. They're basically just sharks with stone faces. Alright, what do you have to tell me about this place? Let me tell you something about a little something about that island over there, Small Fry. The guy who lives there is Aunt Tingle, but he won't grow up and act his age. He still dresses like a little kid. That is not normal. Still, from what I hear, he can decipher maps like nobody's business. It just goes to show that you can't judge a person on appearance alone, Fry. Of course, the thing about this Tingle guy is that when it comes time to pay his deciphering fee, you'd better be ready to fork over some serious dough. Anyone who doesn't have deep a deep wallet won't be reading any maps, that's for sure. So, a note about that. I believe Tingle charges 398 rupees for deciphering charts. And that's actually a required part of the game. However, in the original game, I think your maximum rupee count was 2 100, meaning you had to get at least one rupee wallet upgrade in order to decipher any charts. Meaning that one rupee wallet or one wallet upgrade was actually required. Now, granted, one of them is actually really easy to get because we actually passed the location where you get it very early on in the game. Anyway, we need to head up here to Windfall Island. And like I said, it has been storming and night ever since we left Great Fish. The curse gets broken once we get the last pearl. But until then, we're stuck here doing this. And you can see the pirate ship is right there. You know what? Let's get the, um... Let's get the hint here. If we can get to it. Toss this out. So what's the hint for this island? Cape of this island is a crazy, this crazy dancing fool who can't tell day from night. The guy's nuts, but you've got to respect someone who's not afraid to just let it all hang out like that, you know? I've been watching him, thinking I'd try to learn that dance and compete with him from out here on the ocean. But I just can't seem to swing with that crazy, funky rhythm of his. You should try to teach him true rhythm with your baton, small fry. Show him what it's all about. And that's all the information I've got to offer. So yeah, that's a tip and a half. Anyway, let me come over here to the island. It is just as the postman told us. The pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the townsfolk. I do not know what they are researching, but if they are hoping to get their hands on Jaboon's sacred gem, I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Link, I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to, without them finding out about you. Alright. So, since we're here, 
I'm going to try and check on something to see if we can do something to maybe speed things along a little bit. Let's see. Aha, Zunari, you are here. Dear me, there's but there's a terrible storm raging this evening. The night seems very unsettled somehow. Okay, so I can't do it uh, while the uh, uh, while we're in our cursed state. Gotcha. Alrighty, so wait a minute. Can I come in here? Are you open, my good sir? You are indeed. Want me to simply remove this bottle, or remove this fairy from my bottle? Hello, hello, and hello! You are standing in the one and only Chew Jelly Juice Shop. You must have heard. Our potions are the best, I'm telling you. They're too good, in fact. They're absolutely incredible. Hmm? What's that? What's Chew Jelly, you ask, looking somewhat bewildered? Oh, sir, you simply must be joking. You don't know what Chew Jelly is. Well, just ask yourself this, good sir. What is a robustly nourishing element? What is a mystical substance that is good for the body and mind? Ask yourself. The words Chew Jelly roar out in answer to these questions, proclaiming themselves to be true. Why, it is the key ingredient in the most effective potions around. All you have to do is bring an empty bottle to my little juice shop here, and I'll let you have a taste. Which begs the question, sir, do you have an empty bottle? I do. However, I want you to have a look at this. <gasps> Is that? Could it possibly be? Did you by chance bring me chew jelly? Hmm. Oh ho! Ah! This is an extremely rare color of chew jelly. Perhaps it indicates a new breed? What a fascinating jelly development. I've never seen one of these, this particular hue on Popper and Isla. A small atoll famous for its robust chew population. But I digress, and the game is afoot. For when it comes to making potions, I am a true artist. I have been shown something rare. Inspiration bubbles up from within me. Oh, wait for it. Here it comes. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's the sparkle I was looking for. The sudden burst of inspiration. Eureka. I'm going to use this chew jelly to create a brand new unheard of kind of potion. It's been 10 years since I began my now legendary studies of the chew jelly. I must begin mixing this new potion before my first new inspiration in years vanishes. He has a wasp on his back. Alright. Goggles down. Mm-hmm. Ah. <laughs> It, it's ready at last. My new chew jelly concoction. It's still piping hot, and I want you to have this first batch, my fellow jelly connoisseur. And he gives us some green potion. It recovers magic. La di do. My next pot project is to create a gripping advertisement for my new potion. You come back anytime. So now that we've given him green chew jelly. He now has the ability to sell green potions. Originally, he only sold red ones. And in fact, if we bring him 15 chew jelly of each... Uh, 15 chew jelly of any type, he will be able to craft a new potion. Hold on. There. There. Based on that... Um, uh, he'll, he, he'll be able to create a potion for you for free in exchange. Instead of paying money for the potion, you can spend 15 chew jelly and he'll give you a potion. It's so one use for the um, stuff. The other option is to sell it to Tingle. Anyway, our uh, pirate friends... They're in here.
look, don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we absolutely gotta have bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you think it just- How about you just think of it as payback for the nasty little monopoly you've been running here, yeah? So I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yep, I bet you are. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, that was smooth. I tell you, the minute I set eyes on that link, I just knew he was hiding something back at outside of yeah. So when I saw that postman, I was just pretend I just pretended like I was all worried about the kid and stuff. And presto, he spills the beans. Good work, Gonzo. Really, just top notch. It's funny though. I'm thinking this is the first time you've shown such wit, such cunning. You know, with your cunning and Miss Tetris smarts, if you two got married and had a kid, that kid would be the greatest pirate that ever sail the seas. Yep, the greatest. You idiot! Keep your mouth shut, yeah? Don't be so stupid. Miss Tetra, are you listening to this nitwit? Can't you dock him some pay or something? Quit goofing off both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourself and get those bombs back to the ship. The second you're done loading them up, we're setting sail for Outset Island. What? Miss? We have to leave immediately? But it's been so long since we were on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? How about we grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? I mean, uh, I I'm fine either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, miss, is what I meant to mean to say. It's just that the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah? And I can't help but think it would be awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper layover. So what say we sell sail set sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? That treasure isn't going anywhere. You're with me, right, boys? Who's for a night of fun? Um. You're all fools, do you know that? You saw that demolished island. You saw the senseless destruction. We have to hurry on to Outset, or the same thing could happen there. Huh? Not be disrespectful, but by the sound of things, you're worried more about that island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want you to know the treasure. Uh huh. Alright, fine, have it your way. We can leave the town to Mari, you big babies. But we're setting sail at first light, so no sleeping in, understood? Hey! Aye, aye! Say there, brother, what was the today's password again? Mako, are you serious? You forgot already? You're so useless. Today's password is treasure, yeah? Remember? You know that Nico won't let you in if if you don't say it exactly right. He's real picky about it, so I'll say it once more. Today's treasure password is treasure, yeah? Treasure, eh? Well, we weren't in this shop originally. This is the bomb shop run by Cannon here. The prices on bombs were absolutely ludicrous. You would have to pay like 10,000 rupees for like 10 bombs and yeah, that mm, that wasn't going to happen anytime soon or at all, really. But because Cannon tried to charge the pirates those exorbitant rates, the pirates just sort of robbed him instead. Anyway, what we need to do here is run over here jump on the boat and open the door what do pirates love more than the sea uh huh. right right you may enter So we come down here. We can actually take a peek in Miss Tetra's room real quick, and we will do so. And you can see that she has a 
copy of that painting from the intro cutscene. This interesting map. More stuff from the intro cutscene. And over here you can see who would presume to be Tetra's mother. Anyway. That out of the way. Next time on The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, we're going to go through that w door and reunite with Nico. My cousin. Uh, this is Anna520, signing out.